but Brock Purdy, man, he played really excellent. And I, I, what I like about him, most impressive, is how his awareness in the pocket, how he avoids sacks when they come in and seize the pressure. And he's, he avoids it and creates more time when, when it's not supposed to be more time. And that's elite play, quarterback play to me right there, man. I just wanted to give Brock Purdy a shout out. He came that close. You that's you right. did what you needed to do. But Mahomes, like I say, if you ain't if you playing against Mahomes, Purdy, next time you get a chance, you got to kill a mosquito with an axe. And I know Kyle Shanahan, the offensive coordinator, understood that coming up with all the trick plays and things like that. But that's the mentality. Brock Purdy's on in his second year. And like you said, they got a good team. They got a, you know, good surroundings and things like that. So I know Cam going to come with the foolishness and try to say that this latest thing he said, I'm sorry, latest thing he said is he didn't say game manager was hating, basically. He said game manager is basically saying you're a top athlete. So, you know, we're going to leave that there, man. Right. And no you got confused. anything to say about Purdy, brother, before we go? No. Nah. Like, well, if you look. Well, if you look at the stats, he went 23 for 38, which is all right, you know, all right. 255 yards, one TD, all right, average seven yards, 6.7 yards of, uh, of throw. The main key part is he had zero interceptions. He did not turn his ball over. I think he played a solid game. Like, really I don't solid. know how much more you want out of your quarterback that gets you all the way to the championship game and right. losing the last minute. <laughs> I don't understand the Brock Purdy hate. I, I like the kid. I think he did very good. I think he did yeah. good this season. He's going to grow and he's going to get better and they're going to get more weapons in, you know, but it's just funny too. And I don't know, let's cover this too. The last thing, Kyle Shanahan, man, it's his third Super Bowl, giving up a lead and not being able to win the, win the game. He then gave up two 10 point leads in the Super Bowls to lose. And one time I think he gave up, it was like 21 points or something like that to lose another Super Bowl. So right. does he have what it takes to get his team over the top to win the Super Bowl? I don't know, man. I don't know if you make a change or do you keep riding it out? It's like, oh, it's like right there. It's getting better. I don't know, man. Just a, that's a crazy uh, a predicament to be in. If you're the GM right now, you John Lynch. You just went to three Super Bowls in five years. You had the league in every Super Bowl. You was winning by 10 points twice, over 20 points once, I'm, I, I rem if I remember correctly. You're the GM right now. Do you still believe in Kyle Shanahan and he can he get you, can he get you over the top to win the next Super Bowl? I think he's done such a good job. You gotta ride him and hope for the best. You can't fire him right now and get rid of him. But you gotta try to kind of like what's going on. You got to study. You know they always you know, they love statistics in the NFL. Yeah, right. they so love. So you them. take those three games he was in. And you pay attention to what kind of play call. Did he get conservative? Does he get yeah. nervous in the third and fourth quarter? Some hey. people. <laughs> hey, kill a mosquito with a gnats. <laughs> was he the leader of that? Like I said, I, we was talking about Purdy. Maybe it was Kyle Shanahan didn't kill a mosquito with a gnats. <laughs>